Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plumbing Detective, where our view test on demonstrate various VSTs. This is the BBC Symphony Orchestra by Spitfire Audio. I'm giving this a 5 plus rating out of 5. One of the few plugins I've ever used that I will give it that rating. Basically, 5 out of 5 means it's a perfect, right? I rate plugins out of 5. But a 5 plus means how is this free? This has the best sound quality of any free orchestral plugin I've ever used. It is ridiculous. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this one is probably has the most unique, uh, what's the word, like downloading process. Now, most VSTs, you hit download, you download. Some have a, a VST or actually a, a download gate for the VST where it's like, oh, enter a new email address or like us on Facebook, something like that. Other ones have other different models. This one, you basically have to sign up for free and enter a new email address. You then have to wait two weeks and then they send you the downloads. It's kind of interesting that they say, hey, either A, you can buy this right now, or you can get it for free. You just have to wait two weeks. So if you're watching this video, might as well just sign up now so you can get it. Now, this is basically the GUI. The only thing I don't like about this plugin, I will say, just starting off the bat, and I guess that maybe I get it from a processing perspective, unless I'm missing something because I've kind of tested around with it for a while. You notice now, I have all these different sections, right? Uh, cellos, violins, flutes, uh, we have bassoons, oboes, clarinets, percussion in the back, uh, some harps as well horns, and then trumpets, basically brass instruments. I can't play these all at once. So if you do want to actually make like an orchestral piece, you do have to do a lot of layering. But as you can see, we have a lot of different options we're going to explore in this video. So first off, here's the kind of the GUI obviously I've been showing you. So I'm just going to play, uh, which one? So strings or the violin is playing now, so. Now if you notice too, if I go here, you hear it more on the right side, especially if you listen to the headphones, right side, left side. So, so in a way, it's already kind of pre, not really mixed, but already kind of pre stereo width. Is that a word? Right, the stereo width is already kind of adjusted for each one. So if you layer these, it creates this full ambiance and a full stereo width and makes your songs incredibly well, just, I guess, especially in terms of the mixing process, just adding to that kind of stereo element, you know? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the violins one. And actually, you know, I'm going to, because these, I can play these as kind of like testing them out, I'm just going to play, actually, you know, I might as well load, because each one goes really in depth. So there's a lot to this plugin. I was like, how am I going to review this? this? This is an amazing plugin. So much to kind of take in. So I have long. Spizzicato. Uh, sp Spizzicato. Is that how to pronounce it right? Pizzicato. And then tremolo. And then each one has different settings, too. So I'm going to, let's do... Let's kind of go around like that. Actually, you know what? Let's go here first. So we're going to do horns. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Wait, okay. Stop to kissimo. Oh, man. Staccatissimo. Staccatissimo. So it's like staccato plus. Staccatissimo. Is that how I pronounce it? Hopefully. Then let's go here. I always think of like Zelda when I'm doing pizzicato. And then tremolo. Now as you can see, we have this section here. So I'm gonna go, let's just try to do these right here. Again, so much uh, to do with this plugin. Now we got piccolo. And then we have flutes. The sound quality is just phenomenal. Oh, so good. And whatever. Uh, now let's go to the harp and Celeste. If That's the reverb. Then let's go to oboes. And 
Then we have percussion. So it looks like we have timpani hits first. And then untuned percussion. So these are almost like sample packs. A lot. Then let's go to clarinets. Oh no, we gotta do the violas. Can't forget the violas. Then the clarinets. Which is amazing because I think when it comes to like clarinets and oboes, those are kind of, and especially some of the brass ones too, like the ones we're going to get to, it's so hard to find really good sample quality, just sound quality when it comes to, the, especially when it comes to free VSTs. Most clarinet VSTs that I've used, especially the free ones, I'm not going to lie, are not good at all. Like I, I wouldn't even use them. I'd rather just get a sample from Supply Sounds. But with this plugin, you're all set. And then lastly, we have tune percussion. So that's why they have basically untuned and then tuned. Actually, what's kind of ironic, I was looking at this. So it's 6.52 right now. I just moved to a new place in LA. I'm basically in a place called Westwood, which is near Beverly Hills. And I'm right next to UCLA. So I kind of have that, like that church style tubular bell or church bell. Where it's like, bum, 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 bum. And it happens every hour. So I was actually looking at this being like, oh, at some point it's going to go off and like, you know, Six or seven minutes. And this, that's what that's reminding me of. So I think it will be kind of cool to resample a song. Let me get the marimba. The xylophone. And what I like about this too is that with the marimba xylophone and then the glockenspiel, there's a definite clear difference. I think one of all these bell instruments is sometimes where I'll down them like, a, uh, I don't know, a xylophone free VST, and it really sounds more like a marimba or like a glockenspiel, and they just call it a xylophone because there's some similarities between these, but this you can tell like clear difference in terms of the sound quality and sound design. So we're already, oh yeah, we uh, skipped over our bassoons. Make sure I hit touch all of them. Now, going into the last part, we got the celli. We love that tremolo on that one. Then we got the basses, so let's do this. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I love orchestral, especially for me. A lot of people ask me, like, oh, besides electronic music, what type of stuff do you like? And I love cinematic music. Ironically, one of my favorite genres is a genre called symphonic metal, which is basically like things like Nightwish, Skillet, Evanescence, uh, Within Temptation, the list goes on. It's basically a of like rock, cinematic music, and like even some operatic effects too. Now, lastly, the brass instruments. So let's start with trumpets. Then we get the tenor trombones. You know, I didn't notice these uh, red and green here. I wonder if that was going to adjust. You know, the cool thing is they do have like a thing down here explaining it. It's like the technique you want to play. Okay, maybe they're just like, that's uh, part of the GUI. Then we got bass trombones. <laughs> then I butchered this word before. Saccatissimo, I think is how you pronounce it. I think I nailed it there. I was right when I butchered it or messed it up early in this video. I was like, "Oh, the YouTube commenters are gonna." I'm already, I'm already getting ready for it. But. <laughs> I 
And then last but not least, a tuba. And then finish it off. So that is the BBC Symphonic, or excuse me, Sym Symphony Orchestra. Honestly, this is one of the best plugins, uh, excuse me, best free plugins I've ever found, ever discovered. The sound quality is hands on the best of any free orchestral plugins I've ever seen. And I've tested out a lot of them, right? I I've d tried so many different ones. And I think I could make, or you could make a legit argument that this is the best sound quality for violins, for flutes, for oboes, for horns, you know, for brass instruments, for woodwinds, for percussion, out of any plugin I've ever used. And the crazy thing is you download this once, as you can see, and it's all at your disposal. The only uh, draw uh, downside, I'd say, once again, you can't really play this all at once. It'd be really, really cool to kind of have like a bunch going at once. Obviously, I can always layer it in uh, Ableton and kind of put a bunch of uh, mini tracks down. But what would be cool if I somehow could layer a lot of these, like have like the violins and the cellos and the trumpets all playing at once or something like that. But again, pretty easy to solve. And lastly, I just want to reiterate again, a bit of an odd process, but to me, it's like whatever. The only way to download this for free is you have to basically sign up with your email, wait two weeks, don't know why two weeks, kind of like a random thing. Because I was even reading it, I was like, why is it two weeks? But anyway, you wait two weeks and you can download it for free. So I'm telling you, this plugin, 100% worth the two week wait, one of the best I've ever seen. <laughs>